Good morning. It's me, Miss Pikachu. Uh, today, I have another book for you. We're going to do a book in English, and we're going to do it like in Reader's Workshop, only normally we do Taller de Lectores in Espanol. I'm going to be doing it in English today, okay? And I chose this book because the characters, um, George and Martha, are super funny, so we're going to be talking a little bit about them. I am going to ask you to pause, and when I say pause, I want you to pause, and I might ask you to turn and talk to someone so you can talk to your parent, your adult, your sister, your brother, your kitty, um, and if you don't have any of those, you can use a stuffed animal and turn and talk to your friend, right? And, um, and we'll continue with the lesson, okay? And any questions? Oh, I got one. Good question. What happens if your parent or your person next to you doesn't speak English? That's okay. Good thing you speak two languages. You can ask them the question and tell them what's going on in Spanish and then you can continue talking in Spanish. Does that make sense? Good. Okay, so here we go. This is called George and Martha. One more time. Now before I begin, I see that they're friends and they've he's got she's pouring some tea right here. And in the back it says, two great stories about two best friends. So we're going to read to find out what makes them best friends and what do best friends do. What are some character traits that best friends do? We were talking about character traits before we left school. Remember that? So we're going to continue talking about that. And I'll make sure that um, we'll t I want you to think about it because I'm going to ask you to respond to the character traits. Here we go. This is story number one, the scary movie. So in this story, the scary movie, I chose it because um, George invites Martha to come see a scary movie and Martha is a little nervous. She's a little scared. So I want you to think, hmm, if she's a little scared, what do you think they're going to do? Right now, I want you to think about how do you think Martha's going to feel and how do you think George is going to feel? So I want you to think about how is George going to feel and how is Martha going to feel? Remember, Martha's the one that's a little bit nervous. So what do you think is going to happen? I'd like for you to push pause and turn and talk to a partner. Ready? And pause. back to turn and talk to someone I hope so all right so let's see what happens Martha was nervous I've never been to a scary movie before silly goose said George everyone likes scary movies I hope I don't faint said Martha hmm what do you think this word right here, faint? I hope I don't faint. What could that mean? If I had to take the word faint away, what do you think it would mean? Let me see, if I were to take this word off. Martha was nervous. I've never been to a scary movie before. Silly goose, said George. Everyone likes scary movies. I hope I don't. Hmm, said Martha. Faint. What does this really mean? What do you think the author is trying to get us to understand about the way that Martha is feeling right now? What do you think she's feeling? I want you to push pause, bing, and turn and talk to your partner. So we think that faint means that she hopes she doesn't like get too scared, that she's gonna, you know, be too scared. Okay, so let's read to find out. If you'd like, you can also push pause right here and you can practice reading this by yourself, okay? Martha liked the scary movie. This is fun, she giggled. Martha noticed that George was hiding under his seat. 
Uh, I'm looking for my glasses, said George. You don't wear glasses, said Martha. What happened? Do you remember what happened at the beginning? What happened at the beginning? Who was scared first? Now who's scared? And let me reread this. So what happened right here? Look at this. Martha noticed that George was hiding under his seat. I'm looking for my glasses, said George. You don't wear glasses, said Martha. What does that mean? So I'm going to ask you, we're going to pause right here. We're going to continue on Monday. But there are some questions that I want you to answer either in your journal or you can have your parent type them up for you and post them. Okay? All right. I'm keeping track of this. See you soon. Say bye to my friend. Bye, guys.